Today we learned that Grand Rapids longtime former mayor John Logie has died. He served the city for more than a decade starting in the 90s. He passed away Wednesday, just a week shy of his 82nd birthday. Mayor Logie fought a long battle with Alzheimer's. News 8's Joe Lafergie takes a look back at the impact he had on the city. All right, commissioners, next that will take us to a resolution. To on paper, the job of mayor in Grand Rapids is more of a figurehead position. The mayor does have a vote on the city commission. Two, one, cut. All right, we're open. But they're also someone who cuts ribbons or reads to school children. John Logie changed that definition. Logie's skilled use of the bully pulpit helped not only pave the way for a major revitalization of downtown Grand Rapids, it also brought people to the neighborhoods in and around downtown. Logan once said that 90% of his job was process. You gotta make the ordinary stuff happen and happen correctly. But that other 10% is the visioning about where are we going? Where do we wanna be? A fourth generation Grand Rapidian, John Logie was born in Ann Arbor in 1939. The Logie family soon returned to Grand Rapids where he stayed until he graduated from East Grand Rapids High. After college and five years of active duty in the U.S. Navy, Logie returned to Ann Arbor, this time as a University of Michigan law school student. After law school, he was back to Grand Rapids and the start of a long career with the law firm of Warner, Norcross & Judd. But his involvement with the city began long before he took the oath of office. In the late 1960s, he became a champion for historic preservation as residents saved Heritage Hill from the wrecking ball. I share some of the concerns of some... But it was from 1991 through 2003 that John Logie would have the greatest impact on his community. Uh, faithfully discharge the duties. Of the office of mayor. The office of mayor. Logie was first elected mayor in 1991. And by the end of the decade, Grand Rapids would be a much different city. I had nine years as mayor where we really had a good economy and we were trying to take advantage of the muscle that that gave us. While populations in most core cities in Michigan dropped, Grand Rapids actually grew during the 1990s. We focused on economic development, on keeping jobs, on holding on jobs, on helping people expand and then bringing new jobs into this community. And it wasn't just the business community that benefited from Logie's tenure. There are a number of examples. Like the project that separated the water you flush down the drain and the water that runs off your lawn that was nearly complete, eliminating rain-fed sewer backups into homes throughout the city. We are one of the largest, cleanest cities in the country. Uh, and, and I'm very proud of that, but I'm, there's so much more to be done. John Logie believed in the office of mayor, so much so that in 2002, Logie proposed amending the city charter, written in 1916, to create a full-time mayor position. The job of running the city and would be split between the city manager and mayor. Then, in July of 2002, Logie stunned city commissioners during a Tuesday work session. Therefore, I am announcing today that I will not be a candidate for mayor in 2003. And this was one way, as I said, said in my prepared remarks to make it very clear to the people of this city that this is not about me and I'm not chasing this job. It's because I think this is what the city needs for the future. Logie believed Grand Rapids needed a full-time mayor but wanted voters to focus on the office, not himself. His effort was in vain. The measure was defeated by voters. John Logie ended his third term as Grand Rapids' longest serving mayor a record tied by George Hartwell in 2015. How's history gonna remember John Logie in Grand Rapids? I hope that, um, that it remembers that I didn't have a personal agenda, that the agenda was what was good for this city. In Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, News 8. Grand Rapids Mayor Roslyn Bliss put out a statement tonight saying in part, Mayor Logie was an exceptional leader with a servant heart who loved our city. He was a fierce advocate for historical preservation, local businesses, neighborhoods, drug policy reform, and all things Grand Rapids. All around our community, you can see the lasting legacy and impact from John Logie's time as mayor. He was loved by many and will be missed terribly. We were able to speak with two of Mayor Logie's longtime friends. They spoke about how he was able to help develop the city and what made him such a great candidate come election time. He had the sense and the knowledge to know how to put all the pieces together. And I think people from the development community, from the more establishment community, had a lot of respect for him for that. You know, because <clears throat> a lot of other politicians can talk a good talk, but they don't know what they're doing. And, 
He really did. When it comes to campaigning in Grand Rapids in this area, you really want to go door to door, knock on doors, talk to people. Many people are uncomfortable with that, even though they're, are, they're running and they're told to do it. Logie loved it. He loved going out, knocking on doors during the summer months and as he were running in the fall. Uh, he'd have his shorts on and his hat and he'd be out campaigning and he just loved engaging and talking to people and getting what's, getting off, letting them tell them what's on their mind. Well, due to COVID concerns, Mayor Logie's family says there will not be a public memorial service. You can read more about Logie's life and legacy right now at woodtv.com.